so good evening to all hope you all are doing great so today we are going to discuss about birla tire share so many people are having doubts regarding birla tire so why suddenly it has given such a huge movement so what are the reasons from the thumbnail itself you can understand one of the main reason is lic takes a stake of almost 3.8 percent so lic we know that it is one of the top most institution in our country whenever lic or uh, adds stake in any particular uh, share it is a very positive note for that particular company because such a large market cap uh, company investing in any stocks especially these type of stocks like birla tire so it is very positive for them so that's why the stock has also reacted in that particular fashion so earlier when we go back uh, almost 4 5 months back when birla tire used to trade as a penny stock and when uh, that time also when lic has taken partic particular stake so we have seen some very good rally in the stock and it has later corrected because of main reasons that i have discussed in earlier videos so one of the reasons whether it may be the quarter results which the company is not declaring and also uh, the due to the pledging which was there which was also later being consolidated so these were some of the main reasons why uh, birla tire uh has remained in that 20s particular range only for many particular weeks okay so now since it has given movement so we'll try to see what can be the levels because many people are holding this particular stock so we'll do the technical analysis followed by volume analysis to find out the next possible levels so video will be interesting so watch the video till the end and if you're new to the channel then definitely subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get instantly notified so if we see the latest lic updates so if we see what are the latest um stocks that lic has added in the september ended quarter so you can see almost 14 companies are present so we are majorly concerned with birla tires so you can see birla tires is almost having stake of 3.48% of lic can you see anything which is more than birla tire only uta asset management so apart from that rest of all you can see apart from central bank of india so these are only the two major leading and after that we are seeing birla tire so uta mc is also one of the top most asset management company and central bank of india is also uh, a normal bank in which also uh, this particular uh, lic has invested that much amount of stake so this was the reason why it turned out to be positive so when this particular data was released outside so it created a bullish sentiment so fundamentally if we see the stock we know that it has not been that great because if we see the financials of the company if we see the loss that the company has been making since quarter on quarter so they have been increasing on regular manner so fundamentals need to be changed management also uh, is the little bit trouble for the company so even though lic is investing so clearly till now also we can see the financials and management are still not up to the mark so they need to be improved or need to be changed so that so continuously so the stock can have a progressive movement without any ups and downs okay so next when we see the financial so this is what is talking so earlier we know that birla tire neither used to declare the results so now since it is declaring results also we can take it as a good note that the company is updating the financials even though it is reporting losses but few penny stocks or few companies they don't even report the financials so that is very worst thing uh, that the company is not reporting the financials so this particular company has changed that and it has given some results even though it has Has reported the loss, so it is a loss-making company. It is known to us. So, one thing you need to remember if you are invested in Birla Tires. So many people ask that they invested at twenty rupees level, twenty-one rupees level, twenty-two rupees level. If the investment of almost ten thousand, fifteen thousand, so why to invest that much amount? Okay, so when you are investing at forty rupees with ten thousand rupees, so why? 
so are you thinking that the stock will continuously go up so what is the reason that you're assuming so if you're assuming that the fundamentals are good the financials are good so you have not done the analysis properly so clearly you can see fundamentals uh, financials are not that great only it is running on the statement that uh, these particular institutions like lic when they're buying the stake so that time only it's turning out to be positive so the complete if you see the complete picture like the overall fundamentals need to be improved so then only we can confirm that in the coming years so you need to understand coming years not coming days so days is not is not called investing so coming years is called investing so that you need to understand so that's why i'm insisting if you try if you're trying to okay gamble in these type of stocks then put only 2000 uh, 3000 or if you are more uh, safe trader thousand rupees so more than enough so even if you lose you will lose thousand if you if this particular stock becomes multi bagger also you may get some good returns so don't expect any greed okay so if you have greed so that will definitely uh, twinge you into the uh, what you can say losses but don't assume all those things just invest once and leave it for long term okay so this is the best strategy so if you see the basic shareholding pattern also so clearly you can see 53 percent is present with the promoter and 43.1 is present with the public so public is also having a good holding so okay so that is nominal so majorly we are seeing a promoter is also having holding and rest of all is with the public so other institutions like lic are having particular stake Okay, so if we see the returns that it has reported in a uh, short span of time or in monthly frames, so clearly you can see in one week it has given 22.09% returns, one month it has given 34.27% returns, three months you can see almost 20.41% returns and six months you can see 22.95% returns were given by the company. So you can see in all time frames almost 20 to 25% returns were given by the company. So earlier it has given more returns but after uh, correction so the returns have vanished for people who are being holding so people have exited for them they have earned a good amount of profit so will it continue the trolley or will it uh, start its new journey so that we'll discuss now so quickly we'll do the volume analysis as well so clearly you can see in uh, 8th december you have seen some spike in the traded quantity so whenever i tell increase in traded quantity is always not good so since uh, news is present so that's why traded quantity has increased so earlier if you compare the overall volume analysis so clearly you can see the uh, average is present near 45 to 50 so currently they trade near those particular levels so on 8th december also we have seen almost uh, uh, a spike in trade quantity where it has touched to almost 60 percent so traded quantity volume has increased but deliverable percentage has remained as it is okay same to same so slightly increase or decrease is present okay okay if you see day to day wise uh, deliverable quantity also clearly you can see uh, this is the particular day so that is 8th december today you can see the traded quantity volumes by clearly you can see from 22nd october to 8th december so this is the particular day where traded quantity has increased okay so clearly today it has given 16 percent movement so earlier if you see all the trading sessions you can see they are in completely flat movement okay 6.1 percent again 0 0.7 1.4 2.3 so negative trend was present again positive so flat to neutral movement was present okay so next when we see what the indicators are suggesting so clearly you can see rsi and money flow index so both of them are near 81.7 as well as 89.9 so both of them are in overbought region so it is obvious that whenever any stock is giving 16 17 percent return in one day so it is obvious that money flow index also jumps so don't panic that much so if you have entered at those particular levels so we'll find out what are the next supports and resistances um, for people who have invested today or they have been holding since a few weeks or months okay so we're back on to the technical chart so this is the one day chart of birla tires so what can you see in one day chart of birla tires so these are the same levels so that we have discussed almost a few months back so same levels so if you see current support so where do you find the current support 
so 22.76 is the support for the company so clearly you can see it has given breakout from that so today's you can see movement so it has given breakout above that but clearly if you go back you can see here one resistance is present so that is same 27 rupees level okay let me zoom it out little bit okay so you can see here the same 27 rupees level is the resistance for it from where it has retraced almost one two three times it has retraced so will it retrace again so that is only the big question that you need to watch out since money flow index is also approaching the overbought region so if it takes any correction so same level so that is 22.76 is the support okay so that is one support that you need to watch out so what are the targets so if it follows this particular larry then 31 rupees is the first target okay so after that this is the major target that which is for long term 52 rupees okay hope the levels are clear so two resistances as well as two supports so what are two supports one is 22.76 next one is 17.74 okay so these are the supports that we have drawn in our earlier videos and the stock has been strictly following these particular levels of billa tire okay hope you are having clarity okay watch pause the video and watch these levels clearly and mark it in your chart so that you will have clarity when to enter and when to exit for positional trades okay so further if you are having any doubts regarding billa tire so do mention in the comment section so we'll discuss about that so this is all about billa tire so until then take care bye bye